Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'll tell you how to create drop-down lists that update automatically. Let me show an example. This is a normal drop-down list that we have created. It is picking up the data from here. So whatever name is mentioned over here also shows up as a drop-down item over here, right? Now, what if I added a name over here and it also immediately automatically appeared in this drop-down list? Let us see, does that happen? So let's write a name, say, let, let me write, what, what can we write, Rambo? Does this appear over here? Well, no. Rambo does not automatically appear over here. Now, this is also a drop-down list, which is auto-updating feature, which has the auto-updating feature. Let me write the name Rambo over here. Let, let me first show you whether there is any Rambo mentioned over here or not. No. So let me go ahead and write Rambo over here. Rambo and let me select the drop down list and voila we have Rambo over here how did that happen so this is an auto updating drop down list how did I create it it's very easy well we know how to create drop down list right let me go ahead and tell you that also and so let's say let's try to create a drop down list over here an auto updating drop down list so to create a drop down list what we need to do is we always need to go to data and go to data validation and select a drop down list option and from here the source we can select this source right now this is where the change is first of all what we'll do is we will convert the source to a table so to do that we go to home sorry we go to insert and we select the source we go to insert and we click on table and we convert the source into a table in case you have mentioned headers for your table then you can check this that my table has headers otherwise you can uncheck it click on ok now this range this source is converted to a table now because it is a table it will now allow you to create auto updating drop down lists now we'll create a drop down list go to data go to data validation and we go to list source we select the source remember not to select the header press ok and now you have Rambo over here yes anyhow it was supposed to be there now let's add another name let's say uh, what what name do you want me to add over here Thor Superman Spider-Man all right so Spider-Man. Now let us see, do we have Spider-Man over here? Eh, yes, we have Spider-Man over here. So that is how we create auto-updating drop-down lists. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can actually go ahead and download this file. Why don't you go do that right now? Go to myelesson.org and you can download this training file from this section excel training videos and in case you would like to buy a training course created by me on excel you can simply click over here and choose a course of your choice and we can ship it out to you all right i hope you like this video so until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning